Hi guys, welcome to Bionfo Lab. This is Martha Ngi and today we are going to see about an online structure based virtual screening server and how to submit a job in that server and the result analysis. So this is the server that I have been talking about. The server name is the MTA Open Screen Server. So this server has been cited in many research articles. So as you see, this server provides two services. Uh, first one is an MTA Autodoc that is a docking service and second one is an MTA Open Screen, a virtual screening service. So as you go down, you can see that's been mentioned how um, both of these servers works. So in the virtual screening section, you can see that this virtual screening MTA Open Screen server, it provides five chemical compound libraries for a uh, virtual screening purpose so we have to choose with which uh, libraries compounds we want our target molecule to be docked so these are the five libraries so first one is a diverse library it contains a diverse chemical compound and second one is the IPPL library it contains a focus chemical compound mainly to target the protein protein interactions and the third one is the drugs library it contains a purchasable uh, approved drugs fourth one is the food library it contains a food constraint chemical collection food constraint uh, compound collection and the next last one is the NP library that is a natural product compound collection. So if you want to know any further information about this server you can always uh, go to this uh, go with this um, research article. So this is a research article exclusively for this MTA open screen server. It's a free PubMed, uh, PubMed article so you can visit this uh, um, you can see this uh, research article whenever you want. So in this research article, it's been mentioned uh, how uh, this whole server works, how the input and the output analyzes and all. So if you want to just uh, do check that out. So as we talking about the virtual screening service, just go to run MTA open screen. It directs you to your uh, virtual screening job submission form. So as you see, this is the virtual screening job submission form. So first one uh, that's been mentioned, the demonstration mode. If you want, uh, go for it. If you don't want, just click no. Then second one, we have to upload our receptor uh, protein file uh, in either PDB format or MOL2 format. So today I'm going with the PDB format. So once you choose your receptor file as I said before you have to choose any one of these uh, file libraries uh, for your virtual screening purpose so I always go with the drugs library so which one you want just go for it so the next section is the compound library filters so if you want to further screen your uh, small molecules uh, based on these things you just uh, go for it so like uh, the first question is if you want your uh, small molecule to be like a lead like one i always go with s and the next questions are uh, how many number of uh, hydrogen bond acceptors or uh, donors you want uh, you want your uh, um, you want to be present in your small molecule then a log p of your small molecule small uh, molar mole molecular weight and a number of rotatable bonds and uh, topological polar surface area so if you want to specify any of these values uh, for the screen your small molecules with these values just go for it so next one is a grid center coordinate so you have to uh, specify your grid center coordinates of your ligand binding site so i, I already have my grid center coordinates so in one of my videos um, that is uh, docking in autodoc uh, software i have been mentioned i uh, explained how to find the grid center coordinates of your ligand binding site so if you want to know uh, just go for it i will give the link in the description box so as you know your um, grid center coordinates just copy and paste here so once you done with your uh, grid center coordinates just uh, go uh, next step is the sizes of the search space so if you want to specify any uh, just go for it and the last one is the uh, list of residues so if you want to specify the ligand binding site residues you have to specify it in this given format so here the first one a it uh, Indi it indicates the chain A so if you want if you having chain B chain C so just kindly uh, mention it so next one is the amino acid uh, residue three letter code and the next one is the uh, amino acid count 
so once you mentioned your um, ligand binding site residues just go for run so once your job has been submitted you will get the links for your results so just bookmark uh, the link or uh, just copy and paste it in any text document and visit often uh, often the server uh, to know whether your job has been finished or not so this is the results link so just bookmark it so i already uh, have submitted a job in this server so uh, when you so once your job has been submitted as soon as you open the job with with your results link you can see your result file uh, in the excel sheet uh, it's been automatically downloaded at the bottom of your uh, screen so as you see um that's been about um given 100 uh, small molecules for my target molecule so as you go down you can visualize your target molecule with the ligands here so this is how you can uh, visualize and uh, see your uh, results file so just open your output table result file so here it's been uh, mentioned so that's been given the 100 uh, compound and their compound name uh, with the zinc id you can see the zinc id so this uh, zinc id you can use it in the zinc database so you can get the structure and information of this uh, small molecules in the zinc database uh, using this name or using this uh, zinc id so the next one is the uh, model id and the another one is the energy that is a binding energy so the next one is the number of rotatable bonds so this binding energy it's not an accurate uh, or definitive binding energy it's just an estimated binding energy so if you want to know the small molecules accurate definitive uh, binding energy you just have to go with docking with either uh, autodoc software or autodoc vino software so so i already made a video on how to do molecular docking in uh, both uh, in both software so do check that out out uh, i will give the results sorry i will give the links uh, in the description box so this is how you can visualize your results and analyze your results so if you want to go for virtual screening uh, using the online server you, uh, you can definitely go with this server this is an easiest server and uh, this server has been cited in many research articles so that's all for the today's video guys thank you so much